Good morning, guys. Kelly from Mystical Madness. I'm going to do a potential relationship uh, spread here for you. Real quick with the Rider Waite Tarot card. I haven't used this. This is my very first one. I haven't used it in a while. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for the Taurus this morning? Spirit, what's the message you when you're flipping around? What's the message you have for Taurus? Please give me there we go. What we got here? The chariot. Oh. Moving forward possibly with something. Okay, that goes in the first position. Alright, come on. Let's keep going here. Major Arcana card at least starting with. Oh, this one's flipped over. Oh, seven of Swords. That's in the second position. And these are popping out. Let's see. We got the Eight of Cups. It goes up here. The Star. We got the Star. One more spirit. Oh, it's just sending them out. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles, holy shit, holes. sorry, just didn't expect that. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Chariots in the first position, that's, that's you, Taurus. Um, this is the energy, I love it, I love it. This is the energy, you're, you're, you're moving forward, you're doing what you gotta do, you're bossing up. All right, and then in the second position, seven of swords suck, sucks. What love asks of me. Okay, so what is needed to align in the relationship? Okay, that's basically what needs to be fixed in the relationship seven of swords you see uh there's deception there uh he's he's t running away with the five swords leaving the the two behind like no one sees what's going on um some kind of deception maybe lies i don't know let's see and the third position um that's the message from the universe and that's the oh, okay you got the the nine of cups for the message from the universe. That's a, that's a celebration card. Look at him sitting on his throne there with the nine cups over his head. Okay, so this this is a pretty good read, Taurus. And uh, fourth position, you got the star card. So that's and that's the action to take. Star card is an awesome card to get. She's flowing into the, she's got two cups flowing one into the earth and one into the water. Balance. And then the five, what to release. A gentle combination of something that's taking up too much energetic space. Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you're working on your money and you're worried about your money. Um, this is taking up too much space in your head. You got the star card. Uh, so just let let God and let the universe handle this. You know you're definitely doing, you're moving forward. You're, you're doing things with the chariot here. So just uh, sounds like. Okay, okay. So, release this Ten of Pentacles worry, you know, release this uh, and let God just keep doing what you're doing and just release the stress of the money and the pentacles and God will definitely do it in his own timing. Okay, well... Since this is a potential relationship read, I'm going to 
I'm going to throw an Oracle Lovers Oracle card in here. Or two. These are really good cards, though. I mean, the Seven of Swords is... Could be... That could be in the past. And you got to get rid of the past. I'm telling you. you I hold on to stuff. I noticed that I hold on to stuff. I do let things go, but it takes me a while. But that whole time it takes me to get to the point where I'm going to finally let it go, that's wasted time. So I'm like, no, I can't be holding on to stuff like this. And there are ways to release it. I've been working on, you know, like uh, yoga, meditation, uh, Reiki healing, stuff like that. And it's working, but... Just don't hold on to stuff too long, Taurus. All right, sorry about that. Let's get, oh, ooh, we got a heart. We got one. Look inside yourself. Oh, my God, that's perfect for this reading. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Holy moly. That is just what I was talking about, the past. And then I had to take the one on the bottom of the deck. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Awesome. Have a good one, guys.